So today I'm going to show quickly uh, making the boric acid solution which you put on jewelry before you solder in order to create a kind of a layer to protect it from fire scale and oxidation while you're soldering as well as flux that you put in the seams where you want to solder. So flux helps solder flow into seams. Uh, you can solder without it. However, it kind of tends to gum up and ball up. Uh, so if you use flux, uh, it will um, kind of make it more fluid and flow into your solder seams. So this is just basic yellow flux. Uh, there's a lot of different types of flux. This is my preference. Uh, I usually put it in like a little eyedropper bottle and just can drop where I want to on my solder seams before I solder. Uh, to make the boric acid solution, you literally take a little bit of boric acid power, put it in a dish, and then you take some rubbing alcohol, isopropyl alcohol, uh, you pour in your dish, mix it up. You want to kind of make enough boric acid compared to isopropyl so it dissolves in the isopropyl but you don't want it to be so much that you have sediments of the boric acid powder in the bottom uh, as you can see my dish has dried up um, i forgot to put the the lid back on this little ramekin dish uh, but all i would do is add a little bit of isopropyl back to this dish stir it up and then you dip your piece of jewelry in the the solution you take it out and you, you light it on fire with a lighter and it will burn off the isopropyl alcohol and leave a layer of the of the boric acid on the surface to prevent that oxidation that I was talking about. Uh, so yeah, uh, if you want to see some more tools of the jewelry trade, both beginner and advanced, check out the links below. And thanks for watching.